Assalamu alaikum dear students. I am Dr. Haseen Ahmed and you are watching Chemistry with Dr. Hussain's YouTube channel. In today's lecture, we will discuss Bamford Steuben reaction. It is a best catalyzed reaction which was developed by Bamford and Steuben in 1952. In this reaction, tocyl hydrazone Tocyl hydrazone were reacted with base to produce substituted alkene. Substituted alkene. So, what will be the mechanism for this reaction? Let's have a look to the reaction mechanism. In the first step, base will abstract hydrogen atom which is directly attached with nitrogen. So, the bond will back towards nitrogen and nitrogen will get negative charge as you can see here nitrogen with negative charge in the next step if this is step first so this is step two so in the next step nitrogen with lone pair of electron will move towards nitrogen atom to form pi bond between nitrogen and nitrogen atom as a result tocyl group will leave and the bond will break towards tocyl group so what will be the final product for this diazo compound so diazo compound is produced in the second step so diazo compound are converted into alkene by following this type of reaction if we carried out a reaction in protic solvent the protic solvent reaction mechanism is totally different from a protic solvent so due to this reason both of this reaction mechanism we will discuss first we will talk about protic solvent if the reaction is carried out in protic solvent uh, oh like alcohol this is protic solvent and if we talk about uh, another protic solvent uh, which uh, can donate uh, easily proton so that will be protic solvent like thiol it is also protic solvent so there are different uh, example of protic solvent uh, and uh, when the reaction is carried out in protic solvent uh, then this uh, carbon atom will abstract uh, proton from the protic uh, solvent how uh, in the first step this uh, nitrogen with negative charge will shift towards other nitrogen atom and the bond between carbon and nitrogen will break towards carbon atom if this is the carbon which is attached to R1 and R2 nitrogen triple bond nitrogen so this nitrogen with positive charge and this carbon with negative charge as proton is present or protic solvent is present then this carbon will attack on proton and it will gain one of the proton that will produce this compound in the next step uh, this nitrogen will remove in the form of nitrogen molecule this is the driving force for this reaction why this is the driving force for this reaction because this nitrogen molecule is very stable so due to this reason the bond between carbon and nitrogen breaks toward the positively charged nitrogen atom and it is removed in the form of nitrogen molecule and as a result carbocation intermediate is produced this carbocation intermediate is electron deficient or electron sufficient it is electron deficient so any species with the electron sufficient species will attack on this carbocation first thing if there is any species which is which have much more electrons so it will then attack on this positively charged species in other words if any nucleophile is present in the reaction mixture it will attack in this uh, carbocation but in this case is there is no carbo uh, nucleophile is present in the reaction mixture so due to this reason what will happen no attack will be takes place at this carbocation position 
as we already discussed that uh, this is s for solvent and uh, h for proton so protic solvent when protic solvent donate one of the proton so solvent uh, will get negative charge so in the next step what will happen this uh, negative charge comes from the solvent it will abstract this hydrogen atom and the bond will be back towards carbon atom positive hydrogen r1 r2 and this is r3 so this is removed in the form of sh and uh, what will happen negative charge will be appear here so this negative charge and the positive charge at the adjacent position one is electron sufficient and another is electron deficient so this electron will shift towards this and as a result pi bond will produce here you can see pi bond is produced in both of these examples if the reaction is carried out in a protic solvent a protic solvent are two type of solvent in which there is no hydrogen atom is present to donate to the substrate molecule so if the reaction is carried out in a protic solvent there is no proton available and for this is substrate so what will be the reaction mechanism for this reaction or for this step so nitrogen atom with negative charge will donate electrons to the another nitrogen atom and as a result nitrogen with triple bond and uh, as we know that uh, it is directly attached to the carbon atom so this is the carbon this one carbon one is uh, r1 and this one is r let's suppose r2 so when the bond breaks towards carbon atom both of the pi bond electron moves towards this carbon atom and negative charge appears on this carbon atom so as you can see here In the next step uh, this nitrogen will remove in the form of nitrogen molecule as we discussed that this is a very stable species uh, so the driving force for this reaction is also the same that uh, nitrogen molecule is removed uh, in is also removed in this case uh, due to this reason carbene is produced as both of the bonding electron move towards nitrogen atoms so uh, uh, all in, and this uh, carbon atom negatively charged uh, due to this reason this carbene is produced in the next step uh, what will happen this uh, hydrogen will be shifted toward uh, will be removed in the form of uh, hydride and uh, this uh, car double bond or carbene will move towards this uh, carbon atom so what will happen so as we know that uh, this uh, hydrogen is shifted here in the form of hydride if uh, this is carbon one which is at, uh, on which uh, uh, this hydrogen atom is present if this is carbon one so the next carbon will be carbon two so this uh, hydrogen shifting from the one position to the second position so it is uh, one two shifting and uh, this uh, hydrogen is shifted in the form of hydride so this is one two hydride shift so as a result uh, alkene will be the final product for this uh, reaction to completely understand the reaction or the mechanism for this reaction let's have a look to different uh, example for example if uh, the uh, this uh, hydrogen is uh, present in the cyclic compound so in this case if this uh, hydrogen is removed as a result double bond will be formed as you can see here in the product so the this uh, carbon atom the pi bond will form towards this carbon atom or it will form toward this carbon atom so if we talk about uh, the alkene the stability of alkene stability of alkene so there are two types of alkene in which one is less substituted and the other one is more substituted so what do you think which one will be more stable alkene with more substitution will be much more stable than the less substituted alkene 
To free the silicon pi bond or alkene bond will be formed towards more substituted carbon atom and less will towards less substituted carbon atom. So the more stable substituent will be in excess or in major and the less substituted alkene will be in minor. Let's have a look to the second example. In this example, the reaction is carried out in the presence of aryl halide and also palladium catalyst. So the reaction is carried out in these two conditions in which uh, one is aryl halide and the other one is palladium catalyst. If we talk about the first example, it is only carried out in the presence of base and heat. But in this case, the reaction is also carried out in the presence of palladium catalyst and aryl halide. This is one is the base and this one is solvent. And as we already discussed that uh, in the presence of a protic solvent like diazen or THF, the intermediate is produced carbene intermediate so carbene intermediate uh, then interact with this uh, palladium catalyst uh, and as a result uh, it form a double bond with this uh, palladium which is the intermediate for this reaction so let's have a look to the reaction mechanism that what will be the reaction mechanism for such type of reaction in which uh, aryl halide and palladium catalyst is also used so this is a diazonium compound as we already discussed that how diazonium compound will be produced from hydrazone. So here this is the palladium catalyst which is in the zip oxidation state. This is aryl halide. So this palladium catalyst will be inserted in between aryl and halogen bond. So this is aryl and this is halogen. So palladium inserted in between these two species. Yeah. In this case, what will be the oxidation state of palladium? Palladium in this case is plus two oxidation state. So this hydrozone, yeah. this uh, diazo compound will release the nitrogen molecule and as a result carbene will be produced and then what will be produced? Carbon will this type of species it is called carbene so now this carbene will interact with this palladium species and as a result palladium will form double bond with the carbon atom so it is a palladium carbene species palladium carbene species in the next step uh, it is not mentioned here in the catalytic cycle but uh, if we write the next uh, step uh, it will be like this uh, so it will shifted the ligand will be shifted at aryl position and aryl will shift at the ligand position so here it is ligand and it is, it is aryl and here it is if we call about a r so here it is r in the next step of beta hydride elimination due to beta hydride elimination here one hydrogen and here another hydrogen so due to this reason one of the hydrogen will be removed in the form of hydride so the bond between carbon and palladium will break towards this carbon atom and hydrogen will be removed in the form of a hydride. So this alkene is produced and this species is regenerated. Now what will happen? This hydrogen and X will be removed in the form of HX and through by a reductive elimination step. By reductive elimination step this is also in plus 2 oxidation state so from this plus 2 oxidation state while reductive elimination it goes into the catalytic active species which is palladium 0 species so in this case uh, aryl group is substituted uh, at the alkene so this is the reaction mechanism for alkene formation using a palladium catalyst in the presence of aryl halide I hope you learn much more from this reaction mechanism and if you have any type of question uh, you may ask in the comment section. If you like the video please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.